Hello, I'm Justin Brenneman with Hubbard Feeds. I'm Jeff Harding, also with Hubbard. And today we're here to talk to you about heat stress and heat abatement management in dairy cattle. So Justin, how do you define heat stress on a dairy? So heat stress is typically um, something we look at and focus on when your temperature humidity index reaches 68 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And we have cows that start exhibiting heat stress symptoms when temperatures do increase above 68 degrees. Okay. Now, is humidity really important in our part of the country? Humidity is very important, especially here in Pennsylvania. Yes. Humidity is just as important as that heat degree. So, so yep. over 68 degrees temperature humidity index is where we should start cooling cows. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And a cow's neutral zone, temperature zone, is going to be between 40 and 50 degrees. Okay. So... Although that might seem cool to us, um, it's actually already warming up for her when, when we get above that zone. So, what are the consequences of heat? Of, of we've got cows under heat stress. Well, how does it affect us as a dairyman? So, as a dairyman, you're gonna you're gonna first notice loss in milk production, okay. um, poor reproduction, um, some other health effects such as laminitis. Um, cows tend to stand around more when they're hot. Um, they're on their feet. Uh, they're not laying down like they should be. Um, so, yeah, you'll start seeing some economic effects pretty quick. Okay, okay. So we've got lost, let me summarize, lost milk production, poor reproduction, acidosis, laminitis. Exactly. Uh, do we have trouble, how about transition cows and, and immune function, any problems there? Yep, so transition cows uh, typically already eat a little bit less dry matter intake. So when they are hot, they're gonna eat even less. So, and that goes for all cows. But um, yes, those cows that are starting out that just freshen, they need to make every bite count um, so if they already are showing heat stress, um, losing that dry matter intake, it's just that much more nutritionally they are losing in the diet. Okay. So we've established there's a lot of opportunity for us through, lot, through improving these consequences. Exactly. So what are some ways we can do that? What are some, some management interventions we can use? Some quick ways uh, we, could, we could help mitigate that heat stress is definitely by cooling the cow with fans such as you see here, okay. um, supplemental cooling. Like right here, we have a sprinkler system. Um, and then you definitely wanna have fresh water available at all times. So these cows have to have access to fresh water, fresh cool water, troughs need to be clean. Um, the size of the trough needs to be appropriate to how many cows you have in a pen. And then overall stocking density, the amount of cows you have in a pen. No overcrowding, um, plenty of space to lay down, plenty of space to eat. Okay, so I've read that it's really important to get water on these cows so that when the fans blow, we can evaporate that water off them. Is that Sure, is that sure, sure, yep, yep, and that's where you're... We need to soak those cows down to their skin, so we need to probably have that water on for a minute, at least a minute, before we shut it off again. Is that, would that be yeah, fair? and those are timed, timed okay. based on um, degrees, based on length of the sprinkler system. Um, yep, that can all be controlled. Okay, very good. So... Um, are there any cows in particular that are more susceptible or others, or is it everybody's heat stress? I would say everybody everybody gets heat stress. Um, there are I definitely that's yeah we all do we all do. Um, however, there are a couple couple areas you could focus on. Um, I think you've spent a good bit of time you know in your day looking at some of that. I, I, maybe I bounce that back on you. What do you think? Where do you think the area is that you would focus on the most? Well, so it's a great question. I, I think that to, to your point. Um, all cows can suffer heat stress. When we think about a dry cow or a transition cow, those cows that are really, really um, sensitive to going through that, that calving period, so it's really important to take care of our pre-fresh cows, our, our post-fresh cows, and get those cows off to a good start. I would agree. And once they start well, then we gonna, we've got to take care of them, but it's a lot easier if we get them out of the gate well to yep, beginning a lactation. Yep, yep. Yep, eliminate as much of that stress as you can, especially with heat stress, especially in the summer. Okay. So just to summarize what we've talked about, we've got, we've got uh, uh, the consequences of heat stress are what again? Our consequences would be loss of milk production, um, poor reproduction, and overall herd health, laminitis, acidosis. Um, okay, and then in terms of fixing those problems, or dealing or, or minic minimizing those problems, we've got water, yep. we've got Fans, fans, yep. Functioning fans, not fans that are turned off or not fans that have the, that are disconnected. We've got sprinklers that are working. Yep. yep. We've got access to a lot of water, and if we do, um, we can we can make a big difference in our e bottom line and our economics. Is that correct? Exactly, exactly. And that be my takeaway. You know, let's help 
let's help minimize that economic loss. And we are here to help you do that as a team. Um, and we also have specialists. So if you have any questions or want us to come out and take a look at things, we'd be more than happy to. So your Hubbard Dairy team is the team to call. That's right. Fair enough.